Hey everyone, this is Neil Barnhill with the Barnhill Golf Institute, helping you find your winning way. Today we're going to talk about one of my most favorite shots to hit in golf, which is the knockdown shot or the stinger. It's a great shot to have in your bag. There's some setup things that you have to do, and I'm going to give you some tips and drills on how to hit this shot. It's just a great shot to hit when it's windy. The other day we played and the hurricane was passing by and it was going 25, 30 miles an hour. I hit this shot all day and, and played really well. Also, if you remember going back in history a little bit, uh, Tiger used to hit this quite a bit back in the day in the 2000s when he was winning all his major championships. He hit that stinger with his three wood off the tee over to the British Open where it's always windy. Also, I can remember back Back a few years ago when Davis Love III won the Players' Championship on a Sunday when it was rainy and very windy, he shot a 64 with this knockdown shot. Everybody else was shooting mid to upper 70s, some people in the 80s, so it's a great shot to have. It's very fun to practice. I love practicing this shot, and it also helps your full swing, You're just your regular full swing. All right, so let's go over. I've got this down here, this one rod is, I can show you the ball position. I have an 18 degree driving utility iron here. You could do this with a three wood also. But instead of the normal ball position being in here, I'm going to move it back in my stance just a little bit more towards the middle. I also, my preference, I like to put my hand slightly forward pressed when I do this. This helps my hand stay ahead. I'm going to hit a couple shots here and then go over what I do to make this happen, okay? And that was a bullet right there. That was really low. Board right through the wind. I hit about a five yard draw. Nothing's gonna affect that one. I'll hit one more. That one went dead straight, real low also. Okay, so one of the key things that I focus on after doing a setup where I have the ball more middle, hand slightly forward, is the tendency I see with most amateurs is when it's really windy they try to swing harder at it and when you swing harder at it you create more ball spin which is going to make it go even higher and defeat the purpose of hitting it low so you may want to take one more club where you're not trying to swing as hard I also like to shorten up my swing a little bit and also ground my legs when it's windy so I like to get more firm Stay down because when it's windy, if you don't have a good solid base, you're gonna have no balance and that's not good. All right, so after that, I'm back to this again. My impact bag, I love it. But it's all about rotation of the chest and how you're coming through it. So when you're hitting, we wanna try to match up the shoulder. You wanna try to cover the ball, as we say, when you're hitting it and get like this when you're hitting the impact. We don't want to be like this, that's going to add loft. And when we keep our chest rotating like that, and it's more level too, it's more, it's going to make the ball go like that. Also keeps our hands ahead. When we get right here, and this is going this way, weight's 80% in the left heel, hands are ahead, that's de-lofting the club, and it's going to make it go lower, okay? Along with the ball position being middle. Okay, so that's one drill. Now. This is one of my favorite, that's, that's a great drill, but then my favorite drill of all time, and I'm gonna show you this. I named it, I call it the Annika Sorenstam drill, but she played this way, and I'm gonna show you this. We're gonna put a ball out here where we wanna, where our target line is. I'm gonna put a second ball out here and I'll put a third one right there. Okay, so what we're gonna do here, and the way I explain it to my students is when we come down, we're actually gonna take our eye, our right eye, and we're gonna rotate and look at the ball in front. We'll not see the golf ball we're hitting. We're gonna rotate to that first ball, second ball, and the third ball. And the way I like to describe it too is I like to put a little imaginary fish hook with a string to the right shoulder so when we turn, it's all connected. It's not that. Everything, the head, the shoulder rotate simultaneously. All right, let me show you how this goes. I'm gonna take my glasses off here. You can focus in on my eyes here. When I come down, I will not be looking at the golf ball. I will be looking out here and rotating, okay? So when I get up here, 
I'm gonna swing my arms and then when I get down, I'm gonna be doing this as I come down, okay? Ball position, still a little bit more back into stance, hitting this knockdown shot, hands forward pressed. Okay, felt incredible I didn't watch the ball, but I know I hit that pretty straight, maybe a little draw, but if you see that in slow motion, you can see the rotation of the chest. It just keeps that chest going. And this is not looking up. This is looking down and rotating properly, descending, looking up that way. This is completely opposite of that. It's a great drill. It's incredible to do. Um, it gets you rotating through it and you feel the weight transfer. All right, we're gonna do a couple from down the line. Okay, I uh, wanna give a few pictures of from down the line of what we were just talking about with the impact bag. More specifically, the uh, turning the head drill. Uh, I mean, there were several people on tour. Annika Sorenstam played it like this for years. Also, we had David Duvall who did it a little bit differently. He turned his head. Robert Allenby was an incredible ball striker. He does this. I mean, he was incredible how he struck the ball. Frank Nabilo did this drill. All, I mean, not drill, but he rotated so well it turned his head. So let's get a few from this angle. Again, when I get to the top, when I come down, I am going to take my right eye and I'm going to look at that ball in front and I'm going to keep rotating. And I want to keep this and this connected. Okay, let's see how well I can do with this. Okay, I hit that well. All right, that was the feel I was looking for. You just have to commit to turning your head and your eyes and not seeing the golf ball when you hit it. It doesn't matter, you're just trying to get the motion, which is what I talk about with the impact bag all the time. It doesn't matter how you hit the ball, just get the right motion and the ball will get in the way. Um, and this keeps the ball very low and it gets the, helps the timing of your swing. All right, for more tips and drills on other parts of the golf swing, check me out at barnhillgolf.com. <laughs>